Hey, look at that beautiful painting. Uh, it's a Vincent Van Gogh. How about that Vincent Van Gogh? You know, he, he died destitute, never sold one painting. He was so upset, he cut off his own ear. I think he'd be happy or mad to know that uh, 100 or so years later, his paintings sell for $90 million. Anyway, look at what happened to this beautiful painting today in London. Couple of environmental nut job kids threw spaghettios all over that beautiful painting. And now they got a special message, and I've got one for them too. Take a look. So they're putting crazy glue on their hands and sticking it to the wall. Life. Is it worth more all right, than all food? right, all right. It's worth just a bunch of environmental food? gibberish. They hate everything. But um, interesting thing about this uh, activist. Notice anything? Take a look. Her hair. It's purple. It's not naturally purple. I looked it up. Nobody has purple hair naturally. You know what goes in purple hair? All kinds of chemicals. I mean, everything is in there. This is only a small portion of the chemicals that are on her head right now. Benzenes, uh, diophilatium, whatever the hell that is, aluminum, uh, ammonia, lead, and on and on and on. Hey, wellness and taking care of the environment, I think it starts at home and on your head. All right. Oh. Yeah, and what happens to all those chemicals? They end up in the oceans, they hurt fish, uh, toxic to humans, the environment, can cause cancer. Think about that, Missy, before you mess with uh, Vincent Van Gogh. All right, she's in London. <laughs> oh boy, folks, this is interesting. I guess, does she want to defund the National Endowment for the Arts? Because I would agree with her on that. There's a whole bunch of federal funding there's a lot. Oh, man, I'd say it'd be probably about at least half of what Washington does. Washington does is probably illegal. Um, there's a pr Supreme Court decision that the Supreme Court should review from way back. Don't ask me off the top of my head now uh, if you hadn't asked me. If I hadn't asked myself, I'd remember. But uh, would she want to get rid of the National Endowment for the Arts? That'd be interesting. Um, what are they going to do if we all get electric cars? And we all plug them into the grid. Are you going to power them with windmills? Because the grid won't take that. Uh, most of the place, like if I plug, if I had an electric car in Iowa and I plugged it in, it'd probably come from natural gas or nuclear. Nuclear is a good option. I think even the Enviro Kooks would agree on that. Some of them. Uh, so they go in there and they throw food all over this painting, uh, which is not their painting. I remember when uh, some people went and uh, spray painted uh, black, uh, painted Black Lives Matter on the street, and then other people would go on and throw paint on that or vandalize that, and they were all upset. Well, that was on the public square. This is uh, was in an art gallery uh, that is not owned by the public and can close its doors at any time and not let the public in. So that's different. So they can take taxpayer money and and paint Black Lives Matter on the street when young black men are killing young black men at a far greater rate than any Confederate militia flag-waving redneck or the police ever could. they kill, More black men kill other black men in two years than the Klan did in 80-plus. Uh, and they go crazy when Black Lives Matter gets painted on the road and somebody takes offense to that and dumps white paint on it or uh, paints more graffiti over the top of it. By the way, if you put a bunch of paint on the road when it's raining or snowing, it's going to become incredibly slick, and that might not be good for your car either. You might run into somebody. So this was a lot different. But these these eco-terrorists, these uneducated eco-terrorists can go in there and throw food all over this painting uh, and then glue themselves to the wall. I agree with somebody who said, why don't leave, just leave them glued to the wall for like a day? <laughs> oh, and then if they had a medical emergency and one of them died or something, then 
then they'd get sued. But yeah, that's this is what they do. They act out. They need attention. It's like these people. You can't block an abortion clinic. You can't make somebody take 10 seconds longer to enter an abortion clinic and go around them. But you can hand your cuff to handcuff yourself to a basketball stanchion in a game and uh, or handcuff yourself or, or blocking the freeway. That's another one they do a lot of, blocking the freeway. I remember Iowa took... Uh, uh, the Iowa legislature took liberties with that, and you're going to get punished severely if you block the street. And some people characterize that, oh, you can run them over. Well, don't block the effing freeway. You remember after the abortion ruling, the Supreme Court uh, basically sent it back to the states, and they were blocking freeways. So you can go in there. These people think it's okay to go in there and throw food all over a million-dollar painting, which I could care less about Van Gogh's paintings. I think they're worthless. I wouldn't pay 10 cents for it. I wouldn't put out a fire with it. But you can do that, and you can block freeways and act out and handcuff yourself to things and block handcuff yourselves to each other and block the road uh, and paint Black Lives Matter all over the street. If someone vandalizes that, uh, then we got real problems. But if you keep, oh, if someone has to take an extra 20 seconds to enter an abortion clinic. So that's what these people do. They're going to act out, and they do this for attention. Uh, and they probably have useless lives. It's like a lot of these people on YouTube that just sit around all day and talk and do their little podcasts. They were never on the radio, like a real radio host, like, say, Rush Limbaugh. They're sitting on their fat ass uploading to YouTube. And if the internet didn't exist, I would still have my job. But these guys, if the internet didn't exist, they'd probably be working for some shady nonprofit as the 13th exec executive assistant in marketing for a nonprofit dedicated to registering crackheads uh, and other bums uh, to vote. So... Just a little uh, background on that. But yeah, I'd like to mention again, uh, would she be in favor of defunding the National Endowment for the Arts? I, I would agree with that. I'm starting to think of myself as like Columbo or Perry Mason. Just one more thing. I think Columbo got that from Perry Mason, by the way. I don't think he was the originator of that. I should also mention, uh, where are you going to get all these big battery electric cars? Not the hybrids, but the big, bat big battery electric ones. All the lithium and all the other items that go into those. Uh, where are you going to get that? That stuff's going to come out of the earth. There's a lot of lithium, a lot of cobalt. Uh, that's going to come out of the earth. A lot of that's going to come from China. So it's not really as green as you think. I mean, if you want to buy an electric car, hey, go for it. But I think they're useless. If I had a 600-mile trip with my SUV versus uh, a Chevy Volt, mine would win because I'd have to stop once to fuel up with gas. That would take exactly 90 seconds, and I'd be on the road again, even in a, do it in a snowstorm. And granted, my gas mileage would be worse, but the electric car would also have see its charge reduced with the cold weather. So, and I asked an, an, uh, an enviral kook one time, we said oil was dirty. And I said, well, all these windmills that you want to put in the ground, especially the ones that go offshore with the larger towers. I said, well, how do you think the concrete, you know, where do you think you get the material to make all those towers? And hauling them, uh, they come in, there's a lot of trucks a lot of semis that are going to be used to haul those. Uh, and where's this concrete going to come to sink them in the ground? Because that's going to be a lot of concrete. So, And then you got disposal of the blades. So it's not really as green as you think. As, and Greg Kelly put one example with that lady's di hair dye, <laughs> which is a much smaller scale example, but he had a good example there. So it's not really as green as you think it would be. So um, just a little food for thought. Have a nice day.